Makar has been the player to watch as of recently. He was dropped by the Vancouver Canucks in the 2021 NHL Draft, and within the past few games, he has been unstoppable. Lockhart was invited to the Canucks training camp back in September, and similar to Tomato being able to go to the training camp and getting called up by the AHL, the experience they have from that is unforgettable, and it has shown in their current play. In last night's game, Lockhart scored his first career hat trick. Today's a memorable game for Lockhart as he's currently playing in his 80th career game. Lockhart currently has 8 goals, 10 assists, and 18 points. Radish, who scored his first NHL goal Saturday night, extended his goal streak to two games as he found the back of the net during the beginning of the second period as the Tampa Bay Lightning defeated the Philadelphia Flyers 7-1. Since November 9th was about a week ago. However, it seems that Chernak has found himself back on IR after he blocked a massive shot in the first period Saturday night against the Boston Bruins, and that shot was by Diva Pasternak. Coach John Cooper said that he is in the day-to-day -day category. Mason Marchment of the Florida Panthers hasn't played a game in almost a month due to an upper body injury, but it seems that Marchment's return could be sooner than we think, as on December 6th, he skated with the team with a yellow no-contact jersey, which which suspects that he's not kept ready for his return, but he's getting closer. Now, it's a busy afternoon as there is nine games underway, including Erie. Starting off with Owen Sound attack against Guelph Storm, and the Storm is currently leading Owen Sound three to nothing. Now, let's move on to a player highlight, and that is Mason McTavish. McTavish is currently showing his worth on the ice. The 19-year-old just came back after playing in the Olympics for Team Canada. Aside from his time in the Olympics, McTavish showed that he is an all-star in training as on October 13th, 2021, the young center became the youngest player to score a goal for the Anaheim Ducks. Coming up after the break, I'll discuss what both teams need to do in the second period and first period storylines. It's never been easier to wear your support for your otters. Head to eriotterstore.com to shop by product type, price, and style anytime, anywhere. From new arrivals to clearance, there's something for everyone's taste and budget. Want to see for yourself before you buy? No problem. Come see As Kobe Saganuk ends up buying to the back of the net while the otters were on the power play. There was a turnover at the blue line and Brett Brissett took advantage and sent it deep to Saganuk to get the beautiful power play goal. Noah Sador ended up going to the box for hooking, which gave the Bulldogs the opportunity to find the back of the net, and that's exactly what they did. The scoring for Hamilton did not stop there as they found an opening once again, making it a 5-2 game, and Arbor Jackeye gets the goal credit. Now, 